The DDJ Flex 10 has a DMX output built in. This means you can connect your lighting setup without an RB DMX1 or any other equipment. I've got four moving heads, two here, two behind the set, and I've also got a one bar light up here. To get set up, connect the cable from the DMX output into your first light. The rest of the lights can be daisy chained together from each DMX input and output. Open up record box and open the lighting mode. You will need to map your lighting fixtures in the fixture library so the DMX output can connect to them. Before you search, make sure your library is up to date. Press the refresh button and Recordbox will prompt you if you need to download the newer version. See the description in the fixture library for supported function. Once this has been updated, you can search by name, model number, or use the list on the left. Once you have found your light, drag and drop it onto the appropriate address on the 512 channels. The starting address needs to match the lighting fixture address, but you can map them freely. The lighting fixtures may have several modes, so please double check that it matches the mode on the lighting fixture. If you want to change the fixture channel, drag and move it to the appropriate channel. If you want to delete a lighting fixture, select the lighting fixture and press the delete button. If you have mapped the lighting fixture correctly, when you click on it, it will illuminate. As you map your lighting fixtures, they will appear on the right hand side. You can change the lighting assignment from the drop down list. This tells Recordbox what lighting type the fixture is. If the lighting fixture shows as no assignment, try changing it to the correct lighting type. If this doesn't work, then it's a fixture that isn't supported and cannot be controlled by Recordbox DJ. Once you have your lights mapped correctly, the next step is to analyze all of your music. Recordbox has phrase analysis that detects different phrases in music in order to create lighting that matches. Go back to export mode, Right click a single track or select all the tracks, then click analyze. Select phrase, but deselect BPM and key if they have already been analyzed. Click OK and Recordbox will begin to analyze. You will see the phrase icon appear next to the completed tracks. You can turn the lighting thumbnail display on and off in preferences. Go to lighting, then click display lighting thumbnails on decks. You can also turn the lighting phrase display on and off. Go to preferences, then view, then layout, then tick phrase. Now go back to performance mode and load a track into either deck and press play. The lighting fixture will respond to the different parts of the tracks based on the lighting pattern. Tracks will automatically have lighting design applied to them when analyzed, which will follow the dynamics of the tracks, recognizing breakdowns and drops and matching the lights accordingly. As the phrase changes, the lighting will follow automatically. In Recordbox, click the Pad Mode Edit button and set one of the pages to lights. You can then customize the pads on that page to different colors or light modes so you can control them live. This is great for creating live lighting performances that match your set.
you can use the lighting editor if you want to take this further and specify exactly what you want the lights to do for each track or change the light design automations. You can set the light positions, colors, intensities, strobe settings and more. Check out our Rekordbox lights tutorial for more info.